Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play The Four Heroes of Light! Today, I made myself, or made my way up to the 70th floor and get another piece of armor that I'll never use. So, let's keep on going, then. Alright, we're almost at the top. For boss time against the Red Dragon. Okay, well, I've changed my equipment setup as I have listed in the video description. Guess what element a red dragon uses against you? If you say water, I'm gonna hit you. But no, no, he uses fire against your party. Usually, like, flame breath or something like that. He really doesn't have anything too special about him. No elemental weaknesses or anything we can exploit, so you might as well just go with uh, magic infuse and desolator there. He is resistant to fire, though, but that shouldn't be a concern for us. There's almost no reason to use an elementalist here. This was about the point when I was doing my test runs where I realized, you know, elementalist, it really sucks at this point because we don't have an elemental weakness to exploit anymore. And we have, like, what, one attack that has an element to it that I care about. Uh, let me look some... Oh, his physical attack is Fire Elemental too, so that's something to keep in mind there. But otherwise, yeah, not too challenging. And now we have another massive gem grind because we got the Orhalcon, and I really need to get my weapons upgraded for the next fight. So I'll meet you on the other side once I'm done. Okay, we're back. Took care of all that gem farming that I needed to do. Oh, that's a pretty good weapon. Not that I'm going to use it. It's a little late for that, but anyway. Yeah, I upgraded the Sword of Light and the King Short Sword. Ten more levels there. So that takes care of everything. Let's get to the top of this place. Alright. It's finally over. For boss time against Tort. Or Torte. However you want to pronounce his name. But anyway, yeah, those last ten floors. Holy cow, those those things get really, really big at times. I think the biggest size floor that I've encountered through all my playthroughs of the game, if you go by the number of intersections that they are, because everything's a perfect square, I think the floor was like 27 by 27. It took forever to find where the stairs were. But anyway, okay, so Tort is probably one of the more difficult bosses in the game, let alone in the tower here. Uh, he has a lot of magical attacks with, uh, yeah, Leafra, Leafaga there. You can't even use an elementalist to help you with that. His physical attacks are Wind Elemental, which is why I have the Wind Shields equipped on everyone. But I'm not extraordinarily concerned about it. His Intelligence stat is the one that I am concerned about. He has massive intelligence, and that's why I'm using Mirror with Air, because if you use that, that pretty much neuters his offensive potential against you. Wow, look at that damage! Yeah, he's also weak to wind, obviously, even though his physical attack is wind elemental. So, yeah, I don't know how that works, but okay. But anyway, yeah, so that's why I've got Mystic Sword and Arrow on Brant there. Tort's physical defense is a lot lower than his magical defense, so that's why I think you're better off using physical attacks instead of magic infuse. The only problem is that his physical evasion is also pretty good, too. So, well, so far we're doing pretty good. But even so, even in the worst of times, when he starts evading a lot of attacks, sometimes during practice he was doing that, It's you're still way better off. You just... Rolling the dice, hope your physical attack gets through, because the damage, well, as you can see, the damage with my physical attack is immensely more than magic infuse. Although, in the first round, I just wanted to take advantage 
of the psyched up status, because otherwise my physical attack wouldn't do a whole lot without the wind elemental attached to it. And unfortunately, you cannot buy a Gale Gauntlet for Brant there. It's a rare drop, and I never got one, and even if I did, I wouldn't use it because it's, well, rare. That's one of the reasons why I'm skipping, like, any equipment that you could get from the dungeons, whether it be from the floor 70 chest or the 90th floor chest there. I'm not even going to bother using that because to get one something specific that you really want out of them is pretty difficult. Someone was saying, H.C. Bailey, you know, if you, use, you get up to the 10th floor, 70th floor, whatever you got, if you use a dragon wing to get out of there instead of the portal there, you could actually get the chest and then warp out and then come back. You'd start on floor 61 and you could try again to farm it. So if you want to do that, great. But the thing is, is that once you start getting to the really high floors of the dungeon, the floors start getting massive or immensely larger than before. And I just don't have the patience for going through those massive floors over and over and over again. But that's just me. I mean, if you like that sort of thing, hey, go nuts. Not a big fan of random dungeons. I'll be honest with you, viewers. I mean, this is okay. I mean, it's not horrible. I mean, at least we get some pretty challenging boss fights and equipment and job classes that I'm never going to use. But it's there. How hard can it be to kill a mouse? Come on. You're a cat, Air. Deal more damage. Or, well, you could turn into a cat. But you know what I mean. Man, we haven't even gotten him down to critical HP yet. Because I'm missing so much. Usually he doesn't evade my attacks quite this much, but apparently today he's, well, really sticking it to me, I guess. But at least we got through the dungeon floors, the top dungeon floors, because they were just taking forever to get through. Ha uh ha. -huh. Yeah, it's annoying to have to sit through that attack animation twice every time he attacks me. Or every time he casts one of those leaf spells, you gotta sit through it twice. But unfortunately, when Mirror is down, yeah, it's just way too much damage to keep up with. I haven't even upgraded any of my armor beyond plus nine yet. I don't think you really need it. Ha ha. Well, we almost got him. Another thing you could do against him, or just about any boss we run into, is if you did find an elixir, you could use poison pill with that, and that would deal 999 damage, which at this point is still pretty good. Although Tort has like 10,000 HP or something, so it's still going to take a while. And yes, I know, I screwed up with the renaming of Shell. I must have hit backspace cancel or something, I don't know. I didn't realize that affected boss spell names, so. though. But, yeah, I don't really care. You, know, you might want to get a better healing spell than that there, Tort. That's not really going to phase me too much. Yeah, bosses, I don't know why they even bother having them heal themselves. It's not going to help. Well, at least Poison Pill can chip in every now and then. Especially if everyone's, like, at full AP and there's, like, no point in using an ether or something. Yeah, unfortunately, when spells get reflected, they don't deal too much damage back to them. It deals immensely less. Although that could be, in this case, because he just has really high magic defense. Physical defense? 
Not so much. Now, quit it. Okay, one more. Come on! Wow, that was bad. Yeah, do you see why I've upgraded my weapons? Because even with the upgrades, my weapons weren't helping that much. Hooray! You got the poison pill to finish him off. Well, fortunately, the next few bosses are not going to be quite this annoying. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot Tort had such high defense and magic defense. I thought Mammon was the only one who ever got that high, but no! Maybe I should have brought along, I don't know, some attack items or something. Whatever the wind elemental ones are. I have no idea what the wind elemental battle item is. But anyway, okay, finally done with that. Don't even bother resetting, let's just get out of here. And we'll start heading to the next tower. Now, I know what you're thinking, viewers. H.C. Bailey, where is the next tower? The, you said there's four towers in the world, but there's only three on the world map. Well, that's because, well, the third one is right here on Cetus. I'm surprised the monsters in the tower don't ever try to get out or something and, you know, attack the villagers. But anyway, all we really need to do is just rest up a little bit. And I've already opened the door to the tower when I was just mentioning it briefly before. So, I'll meet you on the 10th floor. Okay, we're in the mysterious lighthouse for boss time against a much more powerful Minotaur. We should still be able to kill him fairly quickly. But he does have a fairly powerful physical attack. Yeah, unfortunately, bosses, they tend to have pretty quick first turn, even faster than my buffs with Bard there. So, yeah, definitely get Motet up as quickly as possible there. His defense and magic defense are not extraordinary, and he has no evasion either. He is weak to wind, but the fight won't last long enough for me to care to go Mystic Sword Arrow. So, let's just go all out with our magic-infused desolator that should take care of business here. And then, yeah, I'm going to have to go health care with the X-Potion because he's just dealing way too much damage. Especially when he gets a crit every time he attacks me. Let's uh, try this one again and get healed up so we can get out of the danger zone. Oh man, now I got that song stuck in my head. Thanks a lot, game. But alright, we got him. Hooray! Just like all the other towers, there's nothing on the 20th floor. So I'm gonna heal up, get back in here, meet you up at the 30th. Okay, we're back. Oh, wow, have we... I was going to say, have we seen this guy before? But no, we saw an iron golem that looked kind of similar to him. For boss time! But anyway, okay, let's see. Mithril golem, his attack is earth elemental, which is why I've got rock shields on everyone. He has no elemental weakness, but he is resistant to earth as well. You want to watch out for the world legend that hits your entire party there. His magic defense is less than extraordinary. Well, that was easy. But who's at the top of this tower in Liberté? Find out next time and let's play the four Heroes of Light. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.